joining us this morning to react to the news, former senior advisor to Mitt Romney's presidential campaign, Kevin Madden. Kevin, good morning to you. What are the greatest strengths of Nikki Haley? Uh, good morning. Um, you know, she's always been seen as a rising star in the Republican Party, um, largely because she had a really strong executive record of on taxes, on uh, health care, on a lot of the issues that voters care about. Um, while at the same time, um, she's actually also built a very strong uh, uh, base now, uh, having been a former U.N. ambassador on um, foreign policy, which is kind of the mix you're looking for when you start to uh, start to assess who's going to have the ability to sort of uh, become a national candidate and really uh, perform well on a national stage. I also think just the fact that of her background um, as a the daughter of immigrants, uh, somebody who is a woman, a woman of color, who can uh, appeal to a much broader uh, um, uh, vote uh, set of voters for the Republican party, that's seen as a great positive for her. And once you enter this race, you open yourself up to attacks. What would you say are her greatest weaknesses, the obstacles she'll face? Well, just the simple fact that the first attack she's going to uh, face is from her old boss, uh, uh, former President Trump. Uh, he does not take kindly to uh, signs of disloyalty or uh, does not will not take kindly to any other Republicans challenging him inside of the primary. I think the main thing there would be that having served in the Trump administration, um, is she really the, the candidate that can really offer the best contrast to Trump? And some of the criticism that many inside the party would have of of uh, the direction that Trump took the party in. Um, so I think those attacks will first come from her old boss, but then they'll also come from a lot of Democrats uh, who say that, um, you know, th she, she's not really a break from the past if she served in the prior administration. Do you think he'll turn on her, though? Because based on conversations that she has shared publicly, he supported her getting in the race, said, follow your heart. Uh, I do, because I think um, that his uh, memory is very short on those type of uh, niceties. And anybody who challenges his grip on the party, anybody who's going to challenge him for what he believes is his rightful um, position as the leader of the party, uh, they're going to come under a withering attack, especially as they start to rise in the polls. Now, that's one of the things right now that may be driving Trump's current posture, which is that he doesn't really see her as a big threat. She's at 4% in national polls. Um, she hasn't raised a whole lot of money just yet. Um, but once that starts to change, and it will change as Nikki Haley starts to spend a lot of time in Iowa, New Hampshire, and her home state of South Carolina, some of those early states that on the calendar um, for the 2024 nomination, when she starts to make some headway, you will definitely see Donald Trump start to uh, train his attention towards in her direction. Kevin, what about name recognition nationally for Nikki Haley, likability in the American, from the American public? Where does she stand on that? You know, she's still not a very well-known entity. Um, I think she will come under some attack from some partisans in the Democratic uh, on the Democratic side because she served in the Trump administration. But her national standing in polls right now is in the single digits. People, she's very much an unknown quantity. The reason that she's seen as somebody who has um, a potential is that when people do get to know her and inside the Republican Party, the grassroots activists that are very curious about uh, Nikki Haley and her profile, they do seem to like her. Um, and she does get high marks for not only her performance when she was governor, but just her overall political ability. She's very good with crowds. She's a very, uh, very good communicator on television. She does very well in retail politics, which uh, the, in South Carolina, you have to have those skills if you're going to become, if you're going to win statewide in South Carolina, you got to be a good retail politician. So really right now, the, the challenge for Nikki Haley is, how does she turn that curiosity from voters and activists into convert? How does she turn them into converts so that she can grow nationally? And by the way, the primary is not a national contest. It's state by state. So she has to get known in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Florida, some of those early primary states, and then the national numbers will come. Uh, real quickly, just a couple of seconds. Who benefits from a crowded Republican field of candidates? I think in particular Nikki Haley. I know um, I, I'm not saying that just because of her announcements today, but she has the most compelling case of, of a new generation and a new type of Republican leader in that she's a woman, a woman of color uh, from the South who's a, a proven winner. So um, her ability to sort of break out of the pack um, will be, uh, I think, is really what drives um, many strategists to look at her as somebody with a very high ceiling and with great potential.
All right. It's going to get interesting from here on out. Kevin it Madden, will. always good to see you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Great to see you as well. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.